are you concerned, A, about the retaliation, and B, are you seeing evidence of it already? Government is slow to act. I think there probably will be some actions, but they'll happen slowly. And it's only been a, it's only been a month so far. There's probably at least a few nefarious things that are in the works right now. But I'd say it would be uh, naive to assume that there are no nefarious things. We'll just expose them on Twitter and see what happens. He went on to say, if I kill myself, it's not real. Elon did not kill himself. That's Elon Musk telling our next guest last night in a Twitter space that he definitely expects some government pushback as he exposes Twitter's history of censorship. So joining us now with more on that Q&A, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. Tom, it was great to see you in there last night. We were both yeah, well. got a chance to talk to Elon Musk. I'm curious, what did you have in mind as you asked that question of Elon? Well, I was concerned because I saw President Biden um, shortly after the election in his uh, celebratory news conference uh, talk about wanting a national security review of Elon Musk. And of course, you've had a series of Democratic senators also criticize him. And so one has to wonder whether he's going to be targeted the way uh, Trump and others have been targeted uh, by the Biden administration, uh, you know, which, as we also know, has very much an interest, a keen interest, in having censorship online continue. They're devoted to, quote, policing misinformation. And when anyone hears that, that translates into censorship of Americans. And uh, one of the other interesting things he mentioned yesterday was he was going to look into uh, the portal that uh, Twitter has set up for friends, including Biden administration agencies, uh, to try to censor Americans. So I'd be interested to see what else is going to come out from the Twitter files in that regard. Yeah, yeah. He, he talked about, I, I think they almost talked about it like a back door that government agencies could come into essentially the inner workings of Twitter and go and have and avail themselves of, of the censorship tools. Um, that's something we need to know more about, Tom. I'm very interested in where this also went to other tech companies and what other topics. Um, what did you think of Elon's answer to your question, Tom? I mean, he said, I believe he said something about, I have good security. He made the joke about, I'm, I'm not going to kill myself, so if that happens, it's not real. And, and, and he also said there's a few, interestingly to you, Tom, he said there are a few nefarious things going on. So. I, his answer to you in part was, yes, there's already something taking place. Well, the uh, Biden administration has talked about having a quarter national security review. Um, Treasury Secretary Yellen uh, suggested that uh, it might be in the offing as well. Uh, you've had Elizabeth Warren, you know, go after him on taxes. And remember, you know, uh, Twitter is in his only company. Uh, so right. he's probably seeing a host of regulatory actions against him. Or, as he's suggesting, you know, they're beginning to sniff around uh, looking for something to go after him with. Uh, look, the left is desperate to preserve uh, the online censorship regime that it's been able to install through big tech in recent years. And Elon Musk is a, uh, you know, is, it goes to the heart of that in terms of overturning uh, uh, the censorship and restoring free speech on the online, in the online marketplace. Right. And uh, they're, they're afraid of it. They're afraid of it because they, they don't believe Americans have the right to free speech. Well, one, one thing was clear last night, I think, Tom, and there's been a, uh, many people ready to write the obituary of Twitter. It was alive last night in a way that allows access that very few have to now one of the world's most powerful men. Uh, Tom, it was great to hear you last night and great to talk to you this morning. Thank you, Will. A million people listening. Yeah. On a Saturday night. It was incredible. Incredible. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.